abroad, partially because I hadn't studied anywhere else before. I hadn't really been out of country except to Canada. So this was a first big trip by myself somewhere else. And it's also a place I've always wanted to visit. I studied with advanced studies in England, which is in Bath, England. The cool thing about studying abroad at Wells is that it doesn't cost any extra money. You pay the same tuition price that you would be if you were here. And as a Henry Wells scholar, I get a $3,000 stipend that I unlocked. I was able to use my plane ticket expenses. I was able to pay for that with the $3,000 and also like trip to London to go to museums, anything like that. So when I got to England, I actually met up with um, one of the other students here, Courtney Good. She also studied abroad. We were able to meet up with each other to travel to Bath by taking trains. And that was really nice because I wasn't by myself. I actually lived in a little suburb type um, called Prior Park. So it was four girls, two boys and me all living in that house. Your professors are British and from England. Um, most of them actually come from Oxford. And we only have classes Monday through Thursday and they reserve Fridays for field trips. Those Fridays that you don't have field trips, you get to go do whatever you want, whether that's explore the city or go to another country or just hang out with friends. And so that was really nice. I chose to stay in England and not leave country and travel around the area that I was in, which I really loved. I went to a city called Bristol, which is maybe a 10 minute train ride from where we are. And I went to a concert there. And another time I went to a poetry reading. I went to this beautiful little town called Froome, which is famous because it has a river running down the middle of the main street there. I also went to London on a trip by myself and that was really fun. Before going to England, I was a little bit nervous about the whole process of it, but Wells has a class that you have to take cross-cultural preparation and cross-cultural reflection. So one is before you leave and one is after you come back. Before you leave, they give you the things that you need to, so to recognize like when you're homesick, that that's part of the adjusting period. So that, you know, you get there and you're all Google-eyed and you're like, oh, this is beautiful. And then you start to realize, oh, this isn't like home and I can't change this because I'm now the outsider. As you get used to it, you then, it just becomes part of your life. So then you come back here and you can almost have culture, reverse culture shock. So you learn about those things and when you come back, you get to reflect on it and see like, oh, I did have culture shock and maybe I'm having a little bit now. Um, so I thought that was really helpful in making me feel comfortable to study abroad knowing what I was getting myself into and knowing I'd have time to think back on that experience when I came back. Just like here at Wells where we have free counseling, they have free counseling with advanced studies in England too. So if you ever are feeling lost or lonely or like just being abroad is really stressful and overwhelming, you can always get yourself set up with one of those programs and they can help you talk you through that stuff and work through it with you. So the craziest thing that happened to me while I was in England is that I was walking around Bath and I had a Wells College sweatshirt on. It's a little bit similar to this, but a little bit different. So it said Wells College on the front, established in 1868 down the sleeve and had a big W on the back. Um, but I had my backpack on so you couldn't see the back of it. And I was walking down the street and I heard somebody yelling from behind me, excuse me, excuse me. So I turned around and this girl looks at me and says, do you go to Wells College? And I was like, yeah, I go to Wells College. And she goes, I went to Wells College. So I actually met one of our alumni who was working on her graduate school program in Bath. And we kept running into each other and we're now friends on Facebook and everything like that. And we still keep in touch sometimes. So my advice to people that are thinking about studying abroad but are maybe hesitant about it is to just jump in and do it because it's gonna be something that you're not gonna regret. I mean, it might not be the easiest thing that you're gonna do. It definitely was not the easiest time for me being there, but I don't regret a minute of it and I'm so glad I went.